God of the God of Sun. The God of Sun came down to earth, became man. But the God of Father is still in heaven. He never came down. But what I'm asking you is totally different. When you say one God yes, they are has one God. three heads. Individuals. Yeah. Yep. Good. So let's talk about the individual components of this one God. Why do you want to talk about this? Because you realize that each of this component, yeah. like the Father, yeah. is he one God himself? Because remember you yeah. said, remember what you said? Yeah. The three heads are in one God. Yeah. Look at this visualization. Yeah. So three heads yeah. makes one God. Yeah, one God. So if you take one of them individually, one head, yeah. he is part of this one God. Okay, can I say one third God? Okay, so each one, one is one God. third God. Yeah. Okay. One, uh, so so the Father. One, one. Okay, so you believe the Father is one third God. Yeah. You believe the the Son is one third God, yeah. and you believe the Holy Spirit is one third yeah. God. But they cannot live without each other. Okay. That's why yeah. this one third is not. Uh, but I think a we've made some. Way. It's not a problem. But I think we've made some progress though. Expl explain. But you've made some progress. One third is not really good. You know, they are all. Uh, you know the, the the nature of them is all of them are God, godly nature, divine nature, all of them, because they existed before anything was made. You know, no earth, no heaven was made, no man, no animals, no plants, nothing. But these three already existed, and these three combined and said, "We are one. We are." Create all these things. What has been created? Yeah. What I want to, what I want to understand from you is so, this: yeah, so when you say there are three heads or three individuals yeah, making up this one yeah, God, God yeah. what you are saying is, it's like a government with three members of parliament, right? One one member, of, one parliament with three ministers. <laughs> each each Look, each I am not God each, to... each minister is not the government is part of the government so when you say god is one hold, what hold you are on, what you are telling us is hold on, hold on. the you father is hold part on. of god not god himself hold on you are mistaken you think as a human being i am only human i can only think human yeah, but, but, hold on, but hold on you cannot distinguish between two different things let's say you are one you have one soul one hand a spirit you have mind thinking and all kind of things creating different ideas and your body what happens when your soul uh, spirit moves from your body your body is dead you can do nothing you know so to make make you alive and be one you need your mind and you need the spirit in your body this is the same thing with with God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. The, the, the Son was the Word. The Bible says the Son is the Word. Which yeah? Word? The Word. The no, no, no. When you say the Word, and the law. What do you who mean gave, by Word? Who gave us the law? No, no. What do you mean by the Word? The, the word of who? Law. Whose law. Word? Law. Whose Word? The, the Gospel, the, the law. No, no. Law, law. The, son, the, law. The, son, the Son, the Son is whose Word? He is the Word. Of who? Words do not exist in vacuum. Words this is spoken. Okay. For example, your words, yes. your words are part of you, right? Yes. They, the words don't ex exist by themselves. You speak them, then we know about these words. The sun, but you know, everything was created by the sun, through the sun, and for the sun. When you say sun, now, when you say sun, I want now, to, I want to ask you one question. The sun uttered each and each individual words what do you mean by sun sun yeah sun why why do you call I told, I told one individual called sun the sun the father and the holy why call father. you why call why do you because call them these. let's understand one thing from you yeah, why do you call these members these. or individuals father and son and not mother and daughter or brother and brother why aren't these three three brothers three twins brothers not twins but you know because they what are do you mean? What divine, do you mean by they are son? Divine individuals, no. and one God. Look, look. That's it. When you no. when you employ the word father, yeah. it doesn't mean mother, right? Yeah. It has a meaning. The word father has a meaning. The father doesn't mean mother. The yeah. son doesn't mean daughter. 
Can you call Jesus Christ the daughter of God? No. Why not? Because the Bible says it's right. Jesus son. That means the word son has a meaning. So I'm asking you, in what way is the father and the son, father and the son? Are you saying the son was brought into existence by the father and he didn't exist? Because you believe, you believe, you believe the son has some divine attributes. You are wrong. The son didn't came to existence. He already existed. This is what I said in the beginning. Existed the son, one, one and the moment. father, and the Holy Spirit. They now, existed. The do you beginning. have Do you have children? You understand? Do you have children? No. No. Do you have a father? Yeah. You had, right? Or you have? No, no, biological. I have a father. Do you have a biological father? Maybe. Sure. Um, definitely you do. Right? You have a father. So your father and yourself, did you coexist in existence at the same time? Or he existed before you? Who? My father. Yeah. Biological father. I don't know him. <laughs> but still, still. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. So can you explain in heavenly terms what do you mean by God is a father and son? That's right. For instance, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, and I'm a family. Three months. It's like an egg. Yeah. But that's not that's not precisely my question is when you say God is a father and son, because in any language the son does not precede the father or is at the same time as the father. The son the son the son always comes after the father the father brings about the son this is the language yeah, so when you use enough. when you use a language in english you're using the word son but you know you are please, 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 please. can you um, allow the lady to understand um, so when you say god is a father and son obviously you can't say god is a mother and daughter there is some restrictions to what you can say and not, not say right a christian doesn't come along and say oh god is a mother and, and there's a daughter uh, no christians i've so are you saying known that would say that Isama can't be not. So when you use this term son and father, what do you mean? Because we know the son cannot coexist at the same time as the father. He can, because he is God. If you said yeah, can't do okay, something, right, right. Exactly. So what does he can you explain then? I'll, 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 I'll clarify my position. The son can either mean a literal son of God that came about from God, or a metaphorical son of God, or an adopted son of God that you've taken legally. These are three main understanding of the word son when i say how are you my son if he's young this is a metaphorical understanding of, of usage of the word son out of compassion Listen, when, please, please i can adopt someone as my son that will be a legal adoption okay legally someone is my son i'm, I'm their father so the other option obviously is the biological which is literal that, that you give birth what you, what through you your wife a son so when you use the word son and father, which of these meanings do you use? What you're doing is you are putting an earthly perspective yes. on a God that can do anything. Yes. Absolutely. You are putting limits God. on yes. a God just because your yes. God's got limits. My God has got no Absolutely. limits. Absolutely. Exactly. So you're putting, you're exactly. trying to make me think of an earthly God yes. with limits when my In Bible says there is no limit in the beginning. But you have God. I, a brother, right? Yes. Brother, please, 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 please. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Just yes, let me clarify this. Point. When, when you, when you use language, brother, brother, please. When you use language to describe God, you are not going to use man's language to describe no, no, a divine God. Then we put him into a box because man's language can in, only put God into a box because of man's mind. Okay, perhaps That's I haven't. Perhaps, perhaps I haven't made myself limits. clear. Yes. Okay. Honestly, you when, when you believe, when you believe, when you say God, you mean a potato, right? No, we say, no, we mean. So you clearly mean God. That's your God. That's not our God. Listen, you don't even know who my God is. My God is the God of Jesus. You don't know my God because you're trying to put him My God is the God of Jesus. You're trying to put him into a My God is the God of Jesus. Are you going to insult the God of Jesus? No, I'm not. Fair enough. I'm simply... But you are. No, no, I'm not insulting your God. do all three. I am simply saying... I am simply saying... When we use language to describe God, or when God uses language to describe himself, 
the language must have meaning. If God says, I am all powerful, it must mean he's all powerful. It, it shouldn't mean that, oh, he's having breakfast with a potato. Sorry to use the potato example again. Language which is used to describe God, or God using the language to describe himself, must have meanings. Because this is how God is communicating with us. So when the, ask, the question I asked is this, when you believe God is a father and son, of course, these words have meanings. I gave three meanings of the word son. And I'm asking you simply to tell us which of these meanings is applicable when you say God is a father and son. Literal, figurative, or legally adopted? None of them? So which one then? No, because you're putting them into man's idea. In the beginning. Beginning of what? Beginning of what? No, 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 beginning of something. When God created the earth. So you're talking about in the beginning of God created? Hold on, I'll let you explain yourself. No, you let can me ex explain myself. Please explain, but clarify the point. People say in the beginning, right? There are many beginnings, so which beginning? Not God's beginning. God has no God. You know God? No. Right, right. But listen, Sometimes. this is what I'm trying to say to you. No. No. Please clarify, but when you say in the beginning, the sister already said God has no beginning. Yeah, so obviously, so obviously, this doesn't apply to God. It's applied to someone who has a beginning. But God okay, says it's listen, not everything you meant to know. You, you, yeah, so you don't need to know earth, everything. Yeah, beginning of Earth, yes. sure. If you know right. everything, you are. You are that God. word there for God is Elohim, means more than one. It's plural. It's three. Yes. <laughs> Elohim means three. Yes, it means more than one. But it doesn't mean three. Still means more than one. Okay. Means more than one. Okay. So. So let's understand something. When I asked you about the questions about father and son, you're now bringing it into an issue of there's more than one. I am not debating, contesting, or arguing your belief that there's more than one member of your God. Yeah? I am not saying you don't believe in that. I'm saying you do believe there is a father and a son and the Holy Spirit. I'm simply trying to get from you is, what do you mean by the word son? Because of man's mind, God had to come down to get into our understanding. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he explained himself like that. And how has he explained? But really, that's not what he's all about. There is no beginning and end to God. There is no father, son, and uh, a difference between a father begot a son. Why does God have to come down? Brother, brother. To save, save you from us. Can you let your... Like, like not really, no. no. Because without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness no. of sin. Sure. It's a completely different when, subject. When I'm asking the question to differentiate or clarify what the words father and son mean, you know, you are a child of God, right? Yes. Right, you are a daughter of God. But clearly, this meaning of the word daughter of God, in this instance, is a metaphorical usage, figurative usage. You're not literally daughter of God, are you? Of course not. No, God hasn't no, given. No, no, so this is, yeah, so this is a metaphorical use. Jesus, so Jesus, when you say God has a son, your mother, how many sons does God have? Everybody was created by. Jesus. Is Adam the son of God? According to the Bible, he is. In one of the genealogies in Luke, if I'm not mistaken, and it says an Adam who is the son of God. So now we are seeing the word son of God is used for Adam, is used for David. Is used for Israel, is used for various individuals. So obviously, you as a Christian do not take that to be literal, that these are not literally sons of God and make them God by being son of God. So, what is your point? You know, at the end of it, if you've got an art trial that said, yes, it's metaphorical, what would you say then? Sure. If something is metaphorical, if something is metaphorical, then the position of Jesus Christ, when he says he's a son of God, it's like you are a son of God you are a daughter of God. So the same relationship. When he said to Mary Magdalene, I am going to my father and your father, to, your God and to my God and your God, right? He's made two claims here. One is the sonship that he's talking about, about himself. My father is your father too. So the sonship is not unique to Jesus. As he is a son of God, you are also the son of the same God. So there is this total understanding of from his own mouth. But he didn't stop there though. This is one point I want to come uh, bring to your attention. He says, I'm going to my God and your God. So if he says he has a God, if he says he has a God, then clearly he is not the God because he is someone who has a